Hello everybody, this is The Bright Corner. My name is Linda Kayang and beside me is... Raymond Apia, son of Stephen Apia. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, before we move into today's details, don't forget to like this video, turn on your post notification bell, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. So, for today's stories, we have Auntie Mavis's birthday celebration. Hmm. Ghana moving out of the World Cup. Um... The, the start of the end of term exam and construction around the dining hall. So stick and stay with us and don't miss a beat. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, my name is Linda and this is stop, The Bright Corner. Stop, hold it right there. How could you start this show without the most important YouTuber on the most important YouTube channel? This is The Bright Corner. My name is Roman Apia and to my right is Linda Kayang. New faces, same agenda, same show, as you love it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and share the video. Show as much love to each and every video as much as possible. See you later and take care. Bye. Bye. So, welcome back, people. The first headline for today or topic under discussion today is Auntie Mavis's birthday. So her birthday was actually on the on 21st of November. But because we had the trip to Gregory Church, which I think we've mentioned about, so she couldn't celebrate that Sunday. So we no, had I didn't to hear that. I heard because Monday was the first day of the school week, she couldn't do it because she felt we would be stressed for the rest of the week. Nah, that, that's that, that's I that's typically how high school rumors are, yeah. So welcome to high school. Oh, People okay. just lie about stuff. <laughs> anyway, so the party was on Sunday and it was so much fun. Actually, the preparation was hectic when I was in the dining hall perfect and we're getting things set up because the food was hefty. It was so much and the eating was much more than the food. So we, we tried our best to finish the food, but I mean, it was a difficult task to do. I mean, I mean yeah, it was, it was something. So you helped in cooking? No, I said, I mean, I didn't help cook, but I helped prepare, as in conveying the stuff, arranging the plate. You didn't pour anything? I poured the drink into my mouth. But yeah, apart from that, I didn't prepare anything. So the <laughs> program was lovely. Auntie Mary's came, we sang for her. Past students came. You sang? I wasn't in the dining hall when oh, okay. they sang, but I was there when we were eating. So <laughs> the past students came, they came, we ate, enjoyed ourselves, had to chat. I know I met my sister. <laughs> so Come, it was such a wonderful experience and happy birthday Auntie Mavis once again. I'm sure it was a really joyful one. Yeah. Moving on, we have the construction of our new dining hall. Hmm. Now brother is taking us to new levels. So Hey, it's not small, but you see? Seriously, hmm. at this at this point, I think we are even commenting too much. Every day we have construction somewhere. You know, this school from is just to this school. Home. I think we should, we should call Brand High Construction Limited. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a funny. One. <laughs> so yes, we have we are getting a new dining hall, and it is not like the dining hall is going to be in the school or no, it is in the school, but not part of the classroom buildings mm. like the dining hall is going to be a building on its own but then this time they decided to surprise us kakra so they decided to use is it roofing sheets or sheet metals with bamboo sticks and then they've used their sheet metals to surround the whole thing so it's i don't know what um the purpose is but then i feel it's because they don't want us to see exactly what's going uh, on my theory is that it's actually barricades and protects the building the work and the construction from wind strong wind you know anyway from invaders who could come in and you know steal i mean not like the school's unsafe but just for the construction methods but then there'll still be a small passage for the workers and yeah, so but to, to steal like a uh, lot of sand, stuff like that, you can't do that without breaking it down. Oh, okay. And you are letting someone. But I think I've learned so much about construction from this, from coming to this school. Like I've learned how they do roads, gutters, buildings. I mean, everything. So Grand High is doing extracurricular activities, <laughs> tourist attraction, I know. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> so the next story is the uh, season of Advent. The Catholics, I mean, I'm not Catholic, but I am Christian. But the Catholics, they are starting a new liturgical year, sorry. So I'll leave Linda to explain more about that Yay. ideology. <laughs> a new liturgical year. No, it's just, 
a new lethargical color dust. So yes, Advent is basically the start of every new lethargical calendar for the Catholics. And it basically means um, the coming, or oh, it's waiting, coming. Wow. Coming. So let me, let me, let me educate the Catholic. Is the coming of Jesus Christ? Because I was listening to Father's um, homily, I was here. even though I'm not Catholic, but I mean. I, it's not like I don't know. Let me say it. Okay, so it's you not, say it. I'll leave it. Eh? I'll leave you it to say it before you say that I was stealing your shine. Okay, actually, no. You see, Advent is like, you see, Jesus is coming, so we have to prepare for Jesus. So, yes, that is Advent. We are preparing for the coming of Jesus. Yes, preparation. That's the word I was looking for. So, what was the second coming that Father was talking about? Say what now? <laughs> so, the second one was the coming of Jesus Christ again to judge the living and the dead. So, we're remembering He coming as a child, and we're remembering He coming as the King of Kings. So, Happy season of Advent, and we hope you enjoy the fried chicken, which comes with Christmas. Because we certainly will. I, I certainly will. I don't know about her, but I certainly will. Do you know some people don't eat chicken? Uh, Not because they are vegetarian, but then they don't eat chicken. Because their money doesn't allow them. No, I actually witnessed someone who doesn't eat chicken in this school. At all? Like, doesn't eat yes, chicken or doesn't like it? she said chicken makes her puke. That's weird. Very, very good. Yes. Anyways, moving on to our next story for today. We have the start of our end of term examinations. Huh. Everything comes to its own troubles. And this time, it is third term. Third term's exams are just very, very stressful. And the teachers are seriously going to trouble us with a lot of questions. For for science, for instance, the teacher... I mean, we are preparing for WASI, so they are preparing us. So, I was told that Why do you say science? Integrated science. Oh, okay. I'm not an elective. Oh, come on. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I mean, integrated science, we have a, a long list of, you know, science, integrated science is probably the broadest subject in the school. So it's a lot of topics that we are covering. And then even core math, I mean, everyone's favorite subject, core math, is going to be very. Why are you being sarcastic? It's not your favorite subject. It is, but it's not everyone's favorite subject. I mean, in, my, in JHS, my favorite subject was PE. JHS and primary. But when I came to SHS, I mean, P is not the same. <laughs> it's quite boring. So <laughs> I decided that, I mean, P can be my favorite subject. So I think I'll say core math, yeah? So, so Prosper, I hope you're proud of me that wow. your subject is my favorite subject. The last story for today hmm. is... He spoke of him being... Stephen Apia's son. So that was just um, foreshadowing to today's Final story. Hottest. Hmm. At the same time, Ghana, wet, wettest. So. Ghana left and it's coming back again. <laughs> I mean, they traveled and they are traveling <laughs> so soon. They didn't even keep long Without their a cops. <laughs> yes. I, I, am, I am proud to be Ghanaian. Very, very proud. You should have seen me wow. waving Ghana flag today. So for anyone hmm. who still doesn't get the point, Ghana is out of the World Cup 2022 Qatar. It's quite a shame, but... I have become someone's fan, Mohamed Kudus. Kudus, I love you. I know we lost, but you tried your best. And no I'm matter really what, he yeah, really, yeah. Really he and the others, especially the Yayu brothers, they did their best. I mean, they helped us so much. By losing no, a penalty. No, I mean, <laughs> anyone would have missed, right? It's fresh. Wow. And the funny part was Asamajan was one of the panelists. And he also missed the penalty against Asamajan Uruguay. Asamajan played. The panelist, I said, like that? the way we are at the, on the table discussing, like oh. we discuss, yeah. Oh. So he was in Qatar, I mean, as a panelist, oh. but he wasn't playing the penalty. But he also was, he witnessed someone else uh, inherit his great ability to miss a penalty against Uruguay, which would I'm sure he would have been so proud. Day. He was, he was not smiling. Oh. I mean, who should? So Ghana is out. Um, uh, but no problem. We'll win the next World Cup. Easy. Do you know, I actually thought World Cups are played every year. Until today, I realized it was every four years. Once every four years. Hey! Yeah, and once every four years. Imagine that we are out in the, the group wow. stage. So we have to win four, four years. years and, so the best thing you can do is win the AFCON. But uh, huh? yeah, in Ghana, we trust. Yeah, God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our footballers great and strong. Amen. Yeah. So this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for enjoying probably even laughing and admiring our beautiful and handsome faces and we'll see you in the next episode see you later 
bye for now